Did did Kina Gay think this was a secret? I wasn't trying to keep a secret. I mean, I'll tweet it out myself. <laughs> this is not a secret at all. Did he think I was trying to keep that just to my audience? I'm glad he tweeted that out. That helps me, actually. <laughs> Let me see how I'm going to word it. If it comes down to Zionist shill and money man Gabe Hoffman or Nick Fuentes, it's not even a decision. I'm going to tweet it out. Let's see. I'll tweet that out. Did you think I was trying to keep that hidden? Kino Fag, yes, that's true. I'll play it again for anybody who missed it. Yeah, that wasn't a secret, Kino Gay. I wanted you to promote that, and so I said, thank you. I said this last night on Locals, and I said it before. Um, I said it before, yeah. You know, if it comes down to Nick Fuentes or Gabe Hoffman, I'm rolling with Nick Fuentes. I mean, uh, I'm just that. I just, I'll just tell you the truth. Uh, Gabe Hoffman, the grubby little gremlin Zionist. Wow, he put that part in there, too. I didn't put that part in my tweet. But, yeah, it's true. He is a grubby little gremlin Zionist and allegedly gay as well. So, Coco Berry says, Kino Fag is owned by the casino who is owned by Gabe. Yes, that's true. That's absolutely true. Well, I've been in the business a long time. And... um People's day always comes. Now he's already lost most of his traction, sweeping for a show with no creative heft at all, just complete retread. They were covering the Game Awards last night and watching Hebrew Hammer and eating a feast, Hanukkah feast delivered to their door by Gabe Hoffman. They had their studio decorated out in Hanukkah gear that Gabe said they paid for, that he just bought the food, and they paid for all the decorations and the yarmulkes and everything else. And I saw one of their fans in my comments on Twitter and said, oh, it's a comedy show. What do you mean? Uh, first off, they cover politics all the time. They've tried to, at least. They've covered these debates. They sweep for Gabe Hoffman on the daily. They never say anything critical of Zionism ever despite the fact that fat ass used to talk about that all the time, they have 100% zero doubt been bought off by Gabe Hoffman. And it's not even a question. Oh, I'm just being ironic. No, you're actually just being a Zionist shill. And there's no doubt about it. There's no question about it. It's open. It's open. And Worski slipped up, dumbass that he is, a few weeks ago, and admitted that Gabe Hoffman was the one that put him on the anti-Teddy Feaser grift and was calling the shots on that. And Worski openly said that Gabe Hoffman put fat ass on that. That if you hadn't have got that information from Gabe Hoffman, it never would have happened. Their show's trash. It sucks. They can't do what I do in any way whatsoever. There are low IQ people who watch it, but that doesn't denote quality at all. They were sitting on their ass all day today when the biggest story of the month, if not the whole fall, is going on. Just fire up a stream. Raging Dissident sent $10 on Rumble. Am I hearing this right? It's Kipa Casino now? Yes, you're hearing it right. And shout out to Raging Dissident. Man, I want to get you back on the show. Thank you for that 10 spot. Merry Christmas, by the way. Yes, you're hearing it right. Now let me go ahead and pull it up because we're about to have a guess. And I was going to do this segment earlier, but then this fucking shooting happened. Shout out to Raging Distant, by the way. Yes, you're hearing it right. You're hearing it right. Now, let me see this. And and I'm not making anything up. Uh, they, I don't know how familiar you are with PPP, but he used to be anti-Zionist, and he used to talk shit all the time uh, on that score. And he's been bought off by Gabe Hoffman. And he sends them super chats all the time. He bought this Hanukkah feast for them yesterday. And they try to act like it's just a big joke. Well, the only problem is they never say anything critical of Gabe Hoffman, for one, even when he's doxing or attempting to dox their supporters like Waffens. They never say anything critical of Zionism. 
and they take their orders from Gabe Hoffman and have admitted that openly. And I don't have the Worski clip on hand, but we played it on the show. It was either last week or week before last. Where Worski, because he ain't the brightest bulb in the box, let's face it. But he's on there saying that they never would have went after Teddy Feaser if, if PPP hadn't got the call. Got the call from Gabe Hoffman. Thank you, man. He said, good to see you, Ethan. Love it when a guy levels up. You set a great example for your followers with your help, health push. Great job. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. I think I saw you like the Elijah interaction that I had the other day or something. I saw I saw you on Twitter or said something to me. I, I had a lot of stuff going on around that. So I think I think we had a little interaction there, but that was nice to see. Um, that was nice to build, build that bridge back. Some bridges I'm not interested in building back. <laughs> That was one, you know, where I was kind of out of line on some of that stuff anyway. Uh, this one, no. Uh, now, here's Gabe Hoffman admitting that he sent all this food. Their whole studio is decked out in Hanukkah decorations, by the way. It would be one thing if you did that and you're still critical of Zionism and you're still out there, you know, on that score, but that's not the case at all. <laughs> They're literally... Sweeping for Zionism. Ethan Ralph sees in jealousy at Power of the Truth, PPP, fat ass. And Andy Worski, since Ralph has no friends that will buy him great food. First off, I've been to some fine Jewish delis in New York. And this looks like shit. It looks like some trash, Gabe. And it certainly didn't make me angry. I hope you guys keep going with the Zionist stuff. I mean, it doesn't make me angry at all. It makes me happy. <laughs> No, no, don't stop now. Don't stop now. Please keep going. And then one of their fans, I think we talked about this in the show last night, but they're like, yeah, I'm going to go watch something else. I don't, I don't need to see this. They were sweeping for Zionism and watching the Hebrew hammer and they're all decked out. You know, their whole studio's decked out in Jewish stuff and Hanukkah stuff. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to take a pass on this. And then they got all pissed off and, you know, raged at him and we need to bend this guy permanently and all this stuff. Clearly it hits a, it hits a nerve, right? Yeah, they sold out for peanuts. That's correct. Ralph W. Final. <laughs> Thank you for that, brother. A base Canadian in the chat. Here's Gabe Hoffman admitting that he sent the Hanukkah feast over to Worski and Fat Ass PPP's house, which means he has their docs, by the way. That was the point, uh, another point I was trying to make. He knows where these fuckers live. And if you know anything about Gabe Hoffman, he's extremely litigious and he's really weird and he's really creepy. So even if they ever wanted to go against him, which there's no evidence that they do, by the way. Um. <sighs> Might think twice about it if this guy knew where you lived. Uh, I'm in Mexico. I don't give a fuck about him. But he ain't gonna fuck with me. But, you know, there's the ironic Hanukkah feast they were having last night. And I don't even have a screenshot of their whole their whole studio. Is, it's got Happy Hanukkah all over the place. And it's not ironic. They're retweeting Gabe Hoffman and promoting his bullshit. And, you know, if it, I said this on Twitter, I said it on the show, I'm not scared of that opinion. If it comes down to Gabe Hoffman or Nick Fuentes, there is no decision to be made. So, if that's controversial, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's not to me. <laughs> I think Gabe mistake, you know, mistook that I had... Um, you know, I had beef with Fuentes, and, you know, we still haven't settled anything. <laughs> Let's say we still have beef. But, um, you know, he mistook me bringing him on the show and talking to him. Of course, I argued with him about Zionism and defeated him quite easily <laughs> about Zionists controlling Hollywood. But I think he thought that that meant I was going to go soft on Zionism or start promoting him personally or his crazy shit. And he is crazy. He sent me all kinds of crazy shit. And I was just like, <laughs> yeah. And ignore him. He wanted me to put his picture in my opening title card. And wouldn't that be funny if you had me up there as like the puppet master? You remember when I had the cartoon version and all the people against AF were on there, some of them? He's like, wouldn't it be funny if the artist, Finn Stoffels, 
was add, added me to the top and I was doing and had the puppet master thing like the godfather thing you know puppeteer I was like yeah ha, wouldn't that be funny of course I had no intention of ever doing that because it wasn't funny and I didn't want anybody ever getting that inclination ever and and I was like yeah I'll talk to Sven about it never did and then Sven because no like fuck off Sven Stoffels DM me Sven Stoffels DM me and said, do you know this guy named Gabe Hoffman? He's like sending me some crazy shit about him being added to the to the art and all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, I know him. Just ignore it. He told me the same thing. He's fucking psycho. Psycho Zionist. I don't want him on the art. Don't worry about that at all. He's like, yeah, I figured. Ha ha ha. Let me see if I can find that. I don't think Sven would mind me sharing that. It'll make that little gremlin Zionist piss probably. Let me see if I can find that. And then I got to do the hangout sent to Ryan. Uh, oh, this guy. This is the guy who just told me the house always wins, by the way. Looks like he's related to PPP. He sits at the same table, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's see if I can find this. Just so you don't think I'm lying. So you don't mistake me for a cog-like individual. Gabe Hoffman is an absolute fucking psychopath. And he mistook me for somebody who can be bought off. I've been anti-Zionist since I was 12 years old. And I ain't turning on that issue for nothing. I will turn over in the grave before I turn over on that issue. It ain't ever going to fucking happen. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. And so I think he got the idea that he was going to be able to weasel into my ear and buy me off like he bought off the casino. Well, no, that ain't going to happen because I ain't them. And unlike those two faggots, I actually have some deeply held political beliefs that I'm not turning on. So this is what he sent Sven Stoffels, and I'm going to have to send the hangout. He said, hey, Sven, that was a really funny, great piece of cover art you made for Ethan Ralph. Wanted to share a thought. Nick Fuentes often makes the insane claim that everyone who is against him is being paid by Jews to do it. You're literally, this is literally a Jew paying people to go against Nick Fuentes, by the way. Now, I don't think everybody is, no. This is literally a Jewish financier, multimillionaire hedge fund investor who is literally paying people to go against Nick Fuentes. Saying, ha ha, what a crazy idea, ha <laughs> ha, yeah. He said, perhaps a small augmentation to consider adding to your cover art to troll Fuentes on that. If like an image of me was on there somewhere with like strings attached to everyone below, a star of David or something like that, I would never allow this ever, by the way. Not for one fucking second. Not as, not even as a joke. Because it's not funny. And a lot of people are going to think I'm on the Zionist take. Because I probably would be if I'd done some shit like that. Let me finish this. In case you missed it, Fuentes completely hates me and sees about me all the time. He tweeted about me four times during the three days his latest Twitter account was up. For what it's worth, Fuentes even claims I funded some documentary hit piece about him. Which he did. Called Becoming Babylon... Small problem, it never got made. Well, there's been enough evidence now that I'm willing to say that I believe you were involved in that. Due to lack of funding, completely impossible on its own. Anyway, great work. Regards, Gabe. Let me tweet this out real quick. Just in case anybody thought I was lying about that. I was not. Unlike the kosher casino, the kill stream isn't for sale. Unreal. See, I forgot I even had that. It sounds like, did you want me to do that? I said, no. <laughs> uh, no. Gabe's such a grubby little gremlin, too. That'll drive him crazy. You tell, he's like on, he's like cog tier in terms of ease to drive crazy. Like, I mean... 
It's so easy. And he follows everything. I, I've said this before, but man, if I was rich, I, I would be engaging on another level. I mean, if I wanted to get involved in, uh, you know, anti-Zionist stuff, in his case, he's Zionist, but like, I wouldn't be, I mean, he's basically slumming it, right? Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. It's just really weird. He's clearly a subversive infiltrator. Like, it's not even a question. Go look at his timeline. If you don't fucking believe me, at Gabe Hoff over on Twitter. It's all just Zionist nuttery. And he hates Elon, too, because he freed the gates at least a little bit on Twitter. It's all just Zionist psychobabble. Nothing but that. That's all it is. And he's attacked. I'm pretty sure he's attacked. Anybody who's been anti-Zionist, he's attacked. And he attacked me. For a long time until I got into that spat with Fuentes and I went hard. I went really hard. And then he started trying to message me and get in my ear and thought he was going to turn me. No, sir. No, sir. Re Bob. As I used to say, uh, no fucker. I'm not a crackhead and I'm not a fucking fat ass, 800 pound slob. And I don't want your Zionist money and you can take it and stick it up your fucking ass. That's what you can do. So, okay, now let me send it to the guest. Sorry, I was getting on one there. I want to make sure I did that segment. I was originally going to do it a lot longer, but I wanted to make sure I at least got it in there. Thank you, Raging Distant, for reminding me. It is on the marquee there. We got caught up in the uh, in the shooting stuff, but and then COG. I only planned to do that for five minutes earlier, but people were getting such a kick out of it. You aren't the only one, Jacuzzi said. Really? Yeah, he does that. He tries. And if you're not, you know, strong in, in spirit, strong in conviction on the topic, you could easily be turned by this guy. And we've seen it happen. We just talked about it happening. So. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.